Living with an amputation can be very challenging. This may be the result of a motor vehicle collision, a farming incident, or even complications from a disease. And typically, a person will wear a prosthetic arm to replace some of their lost functionality. Recent advances in robotic prosthetic arms have come a long way, to the point where some can even move very similar to a normal human hand. In fact, a lot of research has gone into answering the question, how can we control these arms? More recently, the focus has shifted to the other side of the equation, and that's answering the question, how can we feel with these arms? So no commercial prosthetic arms provide any sensory feedback. That means the person doesn't know if they're holding an object, how hard they're squeezing it, or where their arm is in space. So imagine trying to pick up a delicate object or hold someone's hand, and you have no idea how hard you're squeezing it. It'd be very easy to crush that or let it fall from your fingers. Edmonton is one of the very few centers around the world that is performing a surgery called targeted sensory re -innervation. Essentially what happens is surgeons go in and take the nerves that used to go to the hand, responsible for touch, and they transplant those onto skin sites of what's left of the person's arm. So now as the person is touched on that part of their skin, they feel as if they're being touched on their missing hand. We can harness that channel of information using something called a tactor. Essentially it's a small pushing device that we mount non-invasively over top of the person's skin so as their hand closes on an object, it presses on their arm and they get an indentation of that grasping force. The problem with these systems today is that they're very difficult to access. So none are available commercially, and those that have been developed previously in literature are either unaccessible um, or extremely expensive. expensive. <laughs> so the way we are breaking down this barrier is by developing our own tactor system that's going to be inexpensive and accessible. So we're using off-the-shelf components and 3D printed parts to keep those costs low, and we're also hoping to release our device uh, open source so that other institutions around the world can access our design and manufacture it themselves. Here you can see my prototype system that I've integrated onto a prosthetic arm. Um, we are very fortunate to have an amputee volunteer come into our lab and test out the system. And at the end of the day, we asked him, would you want this integrated onto your daily prosthesis? And his response was five out of five. Yes, I would. So this was very, uh, very exciting for us. Now, as with many types of research, improvements are ongoing, and in the future we hope to expand our pool of volunteers to a larger group, as well as look at take-home trials, so we can see how this system performs during normal tasks of daily living. So to conclude, we have developed a tactor system that is inexpensive and accessible, and in this way we hope to bring sensory feedback off of the laboratory bench and onto the prosthetic arms of those in need. Thank you. <laughs>